Today we are um, reviewing, or I am reviewing my new phone, which is the Oppo A92. Um, this phone over here. Uh, so I bought the shiny white color. So only this part is white. The other part is baby bluish. So I like the color blue and white is not really bad color so um, this is the phone that I chose so before we go through the actual review for this phone um, I'm gonna talk about my two other phones that I bought um, years ago so you will know where my review is coming from so let's start off uh, the, uh, uh, talk about a phone that I bought back in 2014 this is the Sony A no this is a Sony Z1 Compact. This is the uh, smaller uh, flagship phone of Sony back then. Uh, what I love about this is the size. Look at that uh, size. If, um, you know, for us women, our pockets are not that deep. So this thing can be inside the pocket, the whole thing. and. As you can see, it's not difficult for me to text or type anything because I can reach the other side of the screen. So it's really, this is quite handy and I love it. So, you know, um, this is definitely the phone for me back then. So this lasted for four years until it died. It will not turn on anymore. Um, so uh, after this, I have to buy a new phone, which is the Huawei. Um, Nova 3i. Uh, so that's the phone that I bought. And after less than two years, this thing is not working properly anymore. It's not as reliable that I, you know, that I hope to be. So I then ended up um, buying the Oppo A92. So uh, let me talk about the specs for the. Uh, Z1 Compact from Sony. Um, this has uh, 16 gigabytes of internal so storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM, um, batteries around 23,000, oh, sorry, 2300 or 2300. Um, this, the Huawei, um, of course, it's a drastic, drastic um, improvement from Sony because I now have. 128 gigabytes of storage, internal storage, and I have um, I had four uh, gigabytes of RAM and uh, 3,000 plus uh, milliampere of battery life. But compared to two, the two, comes to battery life, they're quite similar because there's a lot of things going on here compared to this. This would not last a day like, like I wish it would do. Like for example, if I'm at work and uh, there's a lot of texts and calling, I have to bring like a, you know, a spare charger so I can charge it to work. So that's one thing. Now, um, why would I buy like, I'm this, like this one, you know, like a, a phone that would last four years. Why would I buy another one um, less than a year or less than two years. Uh, let me tell you why. This, you know, it's still working right now, but it's not working perfectly all the time. There are times that uh, it will just keep on restarting on its own over and over and over again. You can't really do anything when it's started and when it comes back on. I'll try to type on something and it will start. So it was very frustrating. It will do that for like two to three hours. After three hours, and said, okay, I got, I'm tired of restarting, I'm going to stop, then that's the time that I can use it. So it's really important for me to have a phone with me because when it comes to work and also family emergency and whatnot. So it's really important. Now, um, what was my criteria in buying a phone? Now, I went to YouTube and checked what are the, the, the you know, the, the best mid-range uh, phones that we have available I saw the real me and pros so I was considering buying real me that was the my, my mindset when I went to the store 
you know, I'll, I'll buy it. But I saw um, this, and I look at the specs compared to the real me uh, equivalent of you know this phone. Uh, this had the Snapdragon 650. It's Snapdragon, and you know I was kind of hoping that it would last four years like my um, my Z1 Compact. And uh, compared to the colors from Realme, the Realme colors were uh, were just like one tone compared to this kind of version. And it looks like this, but lighter. So this has like a two tone kind of color, uh, purple to you know dark purple to blue or whatnot. So it's basically have the same you know um, type of color uh, compared to the Nova. Three eyes. So, and another factor that I was swayed by this instead of the real me is because it came with a 3B, 3B. So it this I got this for free. It's uh, had a Bluetooth headset. So why not? So um, I rather have uh, you know those additional headset. Uh, my last headset was broken, so. This was a, a great, you know, um, addition to the gadget that I have. So, and I got it for free. Now, when it comes to price, though, the difference between the two when I bought the uh, Sony Z1 Compact was about around thirty-one or thirty-two thousand. No, twenty-two thousand, twenty-three thousand. That was the time. This was waterproof. You might be wondering why it's too expensive. It's waterproof, um, of course, Snapdragon, so it was great at the time. And um, this was around thirteen thousand to fourteen thousand, and this is um, the same price, about around fourteen thousand. So there was this was on sale when I bought it, so it was really a good deal. So let me talk to you talk about the um, uh, the specs on this one. Compared to the uh, four gigabytes of RAM, this have not, this have uh, this has eight gigabytes of RAM, and of course the same one, 28 gigabytes of internal internal storage. But the advantage or the the big difference it comes to battery. This guy, this has the 5,000 um, millihertz battery, or right 5,000, and this was. This had uh, 3,000 plus uh, gigahertz of battery. So let me just uh, have that, you know, give you a perspective in what 5,000 milliampere of battery um, comes to real life usage. So I don't have to charge this one ever. Um, you might be wondering that, you know, if how many hours, nine hours? No, I don't stay in the office for nine hours. There are miraculous times that I would stay in the office for nine hours, but average time is around 12 to 16 hours, depending on the situation. But what I love about this is it will stay alive. So when I get home, even I'll be staying in the office for 12 to 16 hours, this will still have 30% of battery life when I get home. So I love how reliable it is and I love how um, I can just, you know, know that this will stay alive with me um, all throughout the day. Even with, with, you know, hardcore usage. And I don't really use that much of, um, you know, videos. I do calls sometimes and lots of messaging. So. This really is a beast when it comes to um, how you reliable it is to stay alive and stay with you the whole time. So um, really, um, if you are the type of person that really wants a reliable phone, then I would really suggest the um, Oppo A92. And um, you know, for me, I do play a little games here and there. It's the Call of Duty, it's only a game that I play in some other games, it's not really that hardcore. So it can take that game, I would definitely, uh, it, it definitely can handle it. Um, I'm not a, a hardcore mobile gamer, uh, I don't do you know, mobile legend and whatnot. I do 
have my console for that, for games and whatnot, but you know, I just want to have a reliable phone and this is a reliable phone. The only cons that I have for this, because of course it's not perfect, is the size. Look at the size, look at how I text. I can only reach the middle part compared to this. So I wish I have, you know, a manufacturer out there calling you people for small ladies like me um, who wants to have a very handy phone. I have to settle for this because this is the phone that I can, you know, I want to buy at this price range and at this kind of spec, so specs, I mean. So I wish it could be this small, but has all the specs and the reliability that I need for this. So, um, so this is me texting or making sure that, uh, yeah. So, um, so that's it. I hope this really helps out when you decide to buy a phone um, for yourself. Could be there could be better phones for you, but for the price that I was willing to, to you know dish out um, to buy a phone, um, definitely uh, you know. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of phones out there that could be suited for you, but for me, better life is important and reliability is important. So this is definitely a phone for me. And I, I hope someday the manufacturers out there, Oppo, uh, Realme, Samsung, Sony, you know, would create a, a much more handier phone. I will definitely buy that one once I, you know, I finish, I'm finished with this. So anyway, um, that's it for today. I uh, hope this helps. And thank you for again for watching. See you around. Bye.